<laughs> yeah, dude, that's fucking crazy. <laughs> <laughs> hey, yo, I got a real uh, question, uh, real quick for the ladies, all the ladies here. Um, how many ladies here actually want to get married? And if you do, by what age do you want to be married by? Let's, let's actually start over here. Um, I'd probably like to be married by like my early thirties. I still want to be able to like oh, you got time experience now. things. <laughs> um, and sorry, what was the second part of the question? Uh, no, basically, yeah. Do you want to get married and yeah. by what age? So you basically yeah. answer it. Yeah. Um, actually, uh, another side question. Uh, do you want to have children and by what age do you want to have your first child? I do want to have children and probably around like my early thirties, just because I want to be able to like experience my life and like life with my partner, but also like scientifically having children a little bit later can create problems for them. So just like just so you know, I work in the healthcare field and I have a biology degree. I'm a scientist, mm -hmm. but continue. Go ahead. <laughs> yeah, I mean that's all I have to say. Um, I don't really have a set age on when I get married or have children. I feel like it's just when I'm financially stable or comfortable enough with the man that I'm with. Uh, so it's not anything specific. It's just, you know, if we feel like we can get married, if we feel like we're in the right place with each other and financially, then we'll get married. Oh, um, I'm, I don't think I don't really, you're trying to get married. Marriage is not like me growing up and like my family members and stuff like that. I don't really have like a lot of marriage stuff going on in the family. There's like one or two cousins that's married, but it's low for me to be married. So if I do get married, that would be great. Probably like in my early 30s, like she said um kids i have a fear of having being pregnant and stuff like that mm. i've been with a friend and long story short she gave birth by herself me being there to support her seeing everything and uh mm. it's it's a fear for me i can't it's too much but um i would like to have one and that's it mm. well i want to get married now i have two kids um i have an eight-year-old and a three-year-old and yeah so i'm i'm ready to get married mm -hmm. Um, marriage for me is kind of one of those things where it's like I don't mind marriage. I just don't like the legality okay. of it. I'm sorry, like, Bree, you're engaged. Like, sign. Yeah, I want to get married now. Right. <laughs> That's fucking worth saying. You know? so <laughs> fucking like I flipped that whole part out. Right. Oh, I didn't even know sorry. you was engaged. Go, go ahead, Seth. Yeah, go ahead. Sorry, go ahead. But Fuck. no, like I just don't want to do everything like by the papers, by the government, by all that stuff. Like I don't mind saying like, okay, we're married, but like all that extra stuff, I just don't feel like that's how you prove your love to some. Like you know, you love somebody, you love somebody. I can sit there and be like, yeah, I'm married. That's my husband, and that's about it. But well, I got a follow-up question to that, starting with you, and we'll go around. Have you? Do you guys? Each of you, pretty much everyone said they want to get married, right? Am I wrong? Everyone said they want right. to get married. So with that being said, do you have? an example or a woman that you can emulate who's actually a wife and is happily married mm. so ladies basically the question is do you have someone you can observe and basically model to know what a good wife is and you know to know what a good marriage is so you can be a good wife mm -hmm. real quick before you answer that mm -hmm. question start the answer with if your parents are divorced or single mm. and then answer it um my mom is widowed but she recently got engaged so okay. um but other than that what was the other part of the question? What? No, basically, okay. do you have a model of what a good wife is? Basically, because, you know, in order to be a good wife, you have to, you know, see it. It's not something that you read in a book or it's not something that you just think off the top of your head. You just wake up one day and you're a good wife. You have to actually observe it and have the mindset of a wife before you actually become a wife. So everyone here wants to become a wife. So does, one, does everyone here have an example or model that they look at, look at to be like, you know what? I want to be, you know, that type of wife. I can't say that I have an example, but not having an example is exactly why you want to do different. Like that for me, that's kind of the motive to be like, I want to be something that I never saw. Mm -hmm. And like in a weird sense, it's like that toughness and seeing stuff like that put a lot of love into me because it's like, what's that? I'm going to experience something different. But that's the one. Oh. Just uh, lean right up on it. Get, yeah, everybody start like getting get up on it. Get up on it. Get up on it. You don't need all this dead air. You got it. Well, Be scared. Just talk. I mean, I was adopted, so I was you know, in DCF, so I really didn't watch, you know, anybody, you know, with marriage and all of that. So, but I am want to be a good wife to my husband, you know, and try the best, even though I didn't have that experience and, you know, watched anybody, but I got to teach myself, you know, so yeah. Jumping. Go ahead. So, um, my mom is a widow. She was married to my stepdad, Blake, when I was growing up. R.I.P. So she's basically um, um, a model for me. Like she cleans, she cooks, she does everything. She knows how to. She knew how to treat like my stepdad in the past. Like she knew what she was doing. So she's my model, basically. All right. Um, my mom is 
single. She is not with my dad, but um, I wouldn't say I have an exact model, but I also think that that was a very like general question. Like, what would you consider a good wife? Is it what's a good wife for you or is it what's a good wife in a generalization? Because I feel like to be a good wife, that depends on who you're with. It depends on the man. For some people, a good wife would be me being a housewife. For some people, it'd be me, me being a working wife. You know, it's different. Uh, that's a good question. I'll, I'll answer that after she after she responds. So my parents have been married for 22 years. So my model is definitely my mom. She cooks, she cleans, she has a great job. So financially, she's helping my dad. My dad has a great job too, but they work together. Um, and throughout my life, her she helped me and my brother. And um, I could tell she's a good wife because she makes my dad really happy. Like I could tell that when like I see them together, whether they're out to dinner, on vacations, or just like on the couch. I know my mom is a good wife because she genuinely makes my dad happy, mm. but she also still plays like a part with the house and helping out in the family. Absolutely. So to answer your question, you make a great point. Like you're absolutely right. Like um, every man is not a look is not looking for the same exact wife. But um, uh, shout out to my parents. They just celebrated their uh, 50th anniversary about a couple of weeks ago. Yeah. But, but the reason I brought up that question is because the reason why I know I'll be a good father and a good wife, I have no I have no wife. And no kids right as of right now but i know i'll be a good a good husband and a good father is because nothing that my father necessarily set me down and told me but it's just that just from observing him with my mother aka his wife i see the little nuances that they nobody would necessarily tell you and be, sit you out and teach you and point out so that's the reason why I, I feel like it's very important that you have something that you can observe and emulate to know what a you know a great relationship is but i will add one thing about my parents that i you know is a uh, not necessarily a bad thing but something to note is the fact that i've never saw them argue so when i'm in a relationship and i'm with you know somebody whatever the case may be, i don't know how to necessarily deal with the argument should i argue should i yell should That's i a major thing yeah how oh, should yeah, i definitely. how should i handle this so besides the argument portion as far as like loving your wife and you know being stern with your kids and you know uh, uh, uh be, having a soft hand you know when it comes to your, your, your just with your family I learned that from observation. So that's the only reason why I asked, do you have a uh, something that you can emulate, a model or something like that? Yeah. I actually, I think you're right about that. I think that you do need a relationship model to be good in a relationship. I just feel like you worded that question kind of weird, that do you know how to be in a, go a good wife? I feel like it would have just been better if you just said, do you know how to function in a relationship? Um, no, the reason why I said good wife is because, <laughs> see, functioning in a relationship, that's like, you could be a girlfriend. We're not talking girlfriend. When you're a wife, that's a, a lifetime commitment. Right. I don't know if everybody understands that because, oh, like yeah. I stated, my parents are are still married. They've been married 50 years. So when I talk about marriage, there is no divorce in sight. Word. A lot of time when women talk about marriage, they always talk about, well, he can leave, if he leaves me, I'm destitute, divorce this, and child support, whatever the case may be. When I talk about marriage, that's not even a question because whoever I marry, this divorce is not even an option. But for some reason, a lot of times women think about the negative aspect and and or the the, the negative outcome of, of a possible marriage so a quick question why do you think it is that women always think about when it comes to relationship they think that oh the guy might leave me or he might cheat on me so i'm gonna leave they always think about basically the, the relationship breaking up because they chose bums in the past absolutely i feel like they manifest, that's their style they so. manifest that for themselves like I you can't walk into a relationship like that but yeah you choose a, a history of bums the only men you fuck with are bums and then you think marriage like why the fuck would i commit to somebody who i'm gonna let lead me when all men do is cheat or fuck up or put hands on me or do stupid shit neglecting to realize that it's like the men you choose so that like that's your world you know what i mean and then it becomes like all men men ain't this men ain't that but it, you, what you mean to say is like the men you choose right I could agree with that, definitely. Yeah, yeah, that is what it is. It's a very agreeable panel. Is there something about females that you wanted to know but could never figure out? Are you struggling with relationships? Do you feel like you're being taken advantage of by the women in your life? Do you want to know how to leverage the playing field to your favor? Well, did you know that the female mind and the female psyche are mysterious and unexplored regions like the dark web of the internet? For this reason, men need a method of decrypting or hacking the manipulative psyche or dark web of the female mind. Once a man has a deep understanding of true female nature, he will then be able to hack her programming. Access granted. The purpose of this book is to help grown males evolve into men 
so that they can treat the women in their lives accordingly. You win. Sixty-three percent of youth suicides, yeah, are from single mother homes. Ninety percent of homelessness and runaway children are from single mother homes. You can't homes. put that on the mother. Eighty-five percent mm. of no. children who show behavioural disorders are from single mother homes. Eighty percent of rapists with anger problems are from single mother homes. Seventy-one percent of high, high school dropouts are from single mother homes. Seventy percent of youths in operated institutions are from single mother homes. Eighty percent of all the youths that are in prison are from single mother homes. This shows that boys and girls need both their mother and their father to be fu fully functioning members of society.